Hello. Hi, everyone. Our salty friends. Yes. Very friendly. <laughs> View letter number 41. And we are going to try our best to make it short and sweet. Short, just like Stephanie. Just short sh and sweet. Whoa. Sweet. You can, you can be sweet. I'm sweet on the inside. I'm like a Sour Patch Kid. Little, little, little sour. Little sour. But sweet on the inside. Well intended. <laughs> Packaged nicely. Today, <laughs> we are talking about our top three things that we must take on an airplane with us. And this is just for personal use because I have a top three that I take when I'm traveling with my family that's way different than top three when it's just like Matt and I going somewhere. Yeah. So we're gonna go three, two, one. So okay, what is my third, third thing? My third thing is a snack because um, I don't eat the day I travel, not because I want to look my skinniest, but because <laughs> on I, that x-ray pat down, you I, be I don't want to have slim love and trim. Trim. Slim and trim. when, the, when that, <laughs> like yeah, when the air puffs up my shirt, <laughs> I don't want a tummy. Like I want it to be smooth. So no. So I just don't end up eating because I'm too stressed and I'm running around the house getting the kids situated or packing or cleaning or whatever. So I end up at the airport and I haven't eaten. So in order to avoid eating all of the carbs that they offer you while on an air flight, um, I usually bring like a protein bar or like nuts or trail mix yeah. or something that has some protein and is a little more dense so that I, because by the time you get to the airport, then you got to get picked up and then you're going somewhere. Like, yeah. There's really no great time to eat, in my opinion. Good food, unless there's you arrive always, like two hours early. There's always time to eat. Thank you. Well, okay. That's my number three. So my number three thing along the similar lines is I always bring a giant water bottle, like 40 ounces, because I get so dehydrated on the airplane and they cannot bring me enough fluids. The tiny water bottle. I'm like, is this like is a shot three glass. Sips yeah, of I'm like, water. The, what is this? And they are like pouring from the giant one. So many times I've wanted to be like, can I just oh, have that? Yes. They stop giving individual water bottles yeah, now. Yeah, they just like, pour it in a cup, and I'm like, and it's room temperature. Me? Like I like cold water. So I always bring it and em bring it like empty through security, and then 95% of the airports I've been in have like those nice water fountains that have like fill stations. You can just fill it up, and then I usually bring like a packet of caffeinated crystal light or zip fizz or something like that to, to get, get her through to get her through the flight. Well, I like to be fully caffeinated at all times. So I'm I wonder, upright. I wonder and what you would be like uncaffeinated. Uncaffeinated. Like detox. Like a week of no not, caffeine. It's not good. Like we should try probably it. We should do like CPS a social me. experiment. <laughs> it's it's not good. Okay. So that's good. Refillable water bottle. Okay. Hydro flask, not sponsored. Okay, number two. I wish. That'd be nice. Someday. Yeah. Number two item that I bring is the next two items are interchangeable, but I would say um, headphones and make sure those headphones have the appropriate jack. Oh, gosh, that's because I have an iPhone, and my headphones that came with my iPhone are the, the new jack. The new jack with Not, the flat square. Yeah. Not it's not a receiver anyway, but you know what we're talking about the old school like plug into your computer and they make adapters for it yeah. Which I have one set of anyways because there have been many flights where I brought the wrong earphones or I have um, Wireless earphones which don't work on an airplane that I know of no so they're earphones not and not because I like to like watch TV the whole time because a lot of times they have music so if I need to try and sleep I tune into whatever classical mm. music that they have on the flight, and that's yeah. how I kind of zone out zone. that hum of the airplane that prevents me from sleeping, to be quite honest. Headphones. Headphones. And I like to watch a good movie. Well, yeah. Or let's do a podcast. Talk let's do a podcast off my phone, yeah. Let's download it. Anyway, yeah. okay, my number two thing is along the same dehydration lines Mom, lotion and like chapstick okay that's more. two things but I I, red for the nair. I just okay. like shrivel up like a raisin on the plane no, it's no, like no no put some no put some yes. red. Like, water and I'll get that right. like 
recycled air or something just dries me out and then I feel everything I touch is gross and like <sighs> and then you wash your hands and your hands yeah. get more dry just just and then I can't get enough water. Like it's all just a big cycle. So I always bring some sort of like not very smelly lotion because I don't want to trigger the people around me and good chopstick. And along that note, I always swell up when I fly. Like so, and I'm usually in flip flops no matter what time of year it is. So I always like to wear flip-flops because when you're going through security it's easy to take off and two when you're flying yeah and my feet are swelling up it's easy to take off and I'll bring up a pair of socks or something yeah. but that's not one of my top three okay okay number one. Oh, we're already over oh, yeah. time limit I know just <sighs> number one the number one thing I bring is a book I love to read and I never get to read anymore because um, just I mean I have time to read but by the time the kids are down and I'm hanging out with my husband I'm either too tired or yeah, we're watching a show together or okay. something so when I travel that's when I like can actually pour into a book and like read like six chapters at a time so yeah. I always bring a book and I always leave them at the airport I've left like three books at the <laughs> airport so always bring one of I always bring one of my own books not like not a library, library book be because I don't want to be and like 75 bucks at the, at the library. Yes. Okay, my number one thing is a sweater or like a very large scarf you can wrap around you. I always freeze to death on planes. Like I, one time I was wearing flip flops and I was so cold on the flight, um, we had, I had to connect. I bought socks at the airport. I'm like, I'm dying. I am just, I am just like a shriveled, raisin. Old. Frozen, surly, sour mess. <laughs> Why do I fly? I don't Ever. know. Let's try. So, but then you have like the random flight that is like so hot. Yeah. <laughs> like the air doesn't work. Yeah. So you can't really like wear your long johns and bundle up. You need like something removable. But I always, always bring a sweater. Even when we were going to Hawaii, I'm like, I'm not going to use this the whole time I'm there, but Mama, for everyone's peace of mind, I'm going to be warm on the plane. Well, that and have you seen or have you ever used an airline blanket? blanket. So I don't, I don't know what kind of SARS is attached to that blanket. <laughs> well, and you have to pay for them now. You do? Yes. Oh, to pay I bring for the a sweater. blanket. Mom, the feeling of those, the fabric is like disgusting bowl, bowl, bowl. so bring your own yeah so those are our top three bowl, things bowl, to bring bowl, while traveling bowl, yep. bowl, bowl, to make your experience better bowl, and maybe bowl, you won't be so sour bowl, bowl. be less sour <laughs> and happier when you get there and skinnier <laughs> when you're going through security and I'm All glad the that the camera things. angle is this high because she's naked I hope it doesn't show her but we hope you have a good week. Have and a we'll good see you week. next week. All right, bye. Bye. I'll